Your, your initial reaction to this, this case, this, this horrific, horrific crime? It, it is horrific. And, you know, you just don't see crimes like this very often. But a crime like this will, in fact, give you a lot of evidence. There's going to be so much evidence. You know, trace evidence is a great place uh, to start. There's going to be firearms evidence. The, the victims were bound and gagged, so there's evidence there. There's a lot of DNA possibility. Because the, because the suspect wasn't apprehended at the scene, you're right. You have both the bodies, where they came from, the truck itself, plus the scene at the, the murder at the golf course, and you know the suspect himself. So there's just all of these areas where there'll be a lot of DNA, trace, uh, transfer type evidence that you are going to look at to try to connect all of those elements together to help really prove that this is the right person. We did learn a few of the um, facts of the case through the uh, warrant associated with the kidnapping. Let's put that up on the screen and, and, and share that with folks at home. Um, the accused did abduct and steal away Paul Pearson without lawful authority or warrant and did hold such person against their will to wit said accused did bound the hands, legs, and mouth of said victim with tape uh, said accused did operate a white and colored Dodge Ram pickup truck bearing Kansas license plate 533 NZM, which contained Paul Pearson concealed in the enclosed bed of the pickup truck. Also, the accused did abduct and steal away Henry Valdez without lawful authority or warrant and did hold such person against their will to wit. Said accused did bound the hands, legs, and mouth of said victim with tape. Said accused did operate a white and colored Dodge Ram pickup truck bearing that same Kansas license plate. Um, Jennifer, let me start with you with the bounding of the hands, legs, and mouth. Um, will you be able to connect those items, the tape itself, to the defendant? Is that possible? It is possible, and binding by duct tape is something we see, um, you know, often enough that there's a lot of work that was done to to compare types of tape, you know, the physical characteristics of the tape, and to compare like the physical matches of the ends. So if the suspect has a roll of tape that you find on him, and you can physically match the ends from the pieces taken from the body, that is great. And tape is sticky; it's really sticky. So hairs, fibers, dog hairs. There's all sorts of things that can, and DNA, all can get stuck in the adhesive on that tape. So it's a really, really great piece of evidence when you're trying to tie someone to a scene or tie these bodies to each other.